This is from an article entitled, A History of Tether and Bitfinex's Audits, Attestations, Memos, and Letters, Both Promised and Actual. Amidst all the confusion surrounding Tether and Bitfinex, it can be difficult to keep track of what they've actually provided in terms of audits, attestations, and other documents to support their contentions. Here I will summarize, but the important note that needs to be included at the top is that both Bitfinex and Tether once hired an auditor, but neither ever completed the audit. Ever since Tether was founded, they promised to provide a full financial audit. It featured prominently in their white paper and on their website for years. They have never provided this audit, but have provided a variety of other documents meant to convince the public that they had sufficient backing for the tethers in circulation. In March of 2015, Tether and Factum announced they had formed a partnership to provide greater transparency into Tether's holdings. The partnership never provided any additional transparency into Tether or its operations. In August of 2016, Bitfinex promised to provide a full financial and security audit after they were hacked. They initially announced that Ledger Labs was hired to perform both. No audit from Ledger Labs was ever released. This was likely in part due to the fact that Ledger Labs was not able to provide financial audits. In May of 2017, Bitfinex announced they had engaged Friedman LLP out of New York to audit them. As of today, in 2021, we have yet to get an update from Bitfinex on the status of this audit. In September of 2017, Tether announced that they had engaged Friedman LLP out of New York to audit them. This audit would also never occur. We would eventually get an update from a Tether spokesperson saying the relationship dissolved, citing the excruciatingly detailed procedures that the auditor wanted to undertake. Also, in September of 2017, Tether released several previous attestations from a small accounting firm in Taiwan called Topsun. These were monthly attestations attesting to Tether having sufficient backing for the end of the month from December 2016 through March 2017. Strangely, these were not completed at the end of the respective months, but were all completed on May 23, 2017. Also strangely, approximately two weeks after they had announced that Friedman had been brought on to audit Bitfinex. Well, Friedman LLP never provided an audit for Tether. They did provide a consulting memo for their reserves on September 15th, 2017. On September 14th, 2017, Tether had no bank accounts. On September 15, 2017, Tether got a bank account at Noble Bank, founded by their co-founder, Brock Pierce. They transferred in several hundred million dollars from Bitfinex's account at Noble, and that evening, Friedman checked the account to perform the attestation. In June of 2018, Tether was able to provide another consulting memo, this time from a firm called Free Sporkin & Sullivan. Eugene Sullivan, one of the partners for FSS, was also an advisor to their bank, Noble Bank, which, as previously mentioned, had been founded by Brock Pierce, one of Tether's co-founders. Shortly after this date, Bitfinex began taking hundreds of millions of dollars from Tether's bank accounts. On November 1, 2018, Tether announced that they were banking with Dell Tech Bank & Trust in the Bahamas. As part of this announcement, they included a letter signed by the bank attesting that Tether's portfolio cash value was sufficient to back the Tethers in circulation. The very next day, on November 2, 2018, the day after this letter, Bitfinex took hundreds of millions of dollars from the account. In March of 2021, Tether announced that they had gotten an attestation for the end of February from the accounting firm Moore Cayman. In April of 2021, Tether released an attestation for more Cayman for the end of March. Also, in April of 2021, Tether released an asset breakdown that showed in their reserves they had only three cents of cash for every Tether in circulation. That is, to the best of my knowledge, a complete history of the audits, attestations, consulting memos, and other documents meant to support Tether and Bitfinex's business. 
Finally, the important note, once again, is that neither have ever had a full financial audit.